Hello there. I'm Pat Clements. April Trussell Smith, this year's stewardship chair, invited Carl and me to kick off the stewardship campaign. Good morning. The year was 1980. The UU Fellowship of Tuscaloosa was already 26 years old. Our friends, the Smiths, invited us to attend. <clears throat> we stayed for 40 years. After 40 years on this journey, with so many remarkable companions and so many inspiring spiritual leaders, I can say I am a better person than I would have been otherwise. I have had a richer, more meaningful life than I would have had without this church home. We found folks like us raising hard questions for every easy answer. Over time, our circle expanded. We found UUism to be not just an escape from orthodoxy, but a principle-driven quest for spiritual growth, community outreach, and mutual support. Each minister we have had, and there have been many, has enriched us. But I'm going to make a confession here. It's actually impossible for me to recite to you any parts of their wonderful sermons. All those beautiful words have trouble sticking. But what we do remember more readily are experiences. Meeting at Hillel, the Jewish Student Center. Halloween out at the spooky Folsom Cabin on Davis Creek. Of course, we've gone through stages and cycles. We've always had an influx of UUs and future UUs from other cities who've added ideas and jumped right in. Things we now take for granted were introduced. The children's story, flowers, live music, Halloween retreats. Then one day, we lost our lease. This was a scary time, but it was also exciting. When we built our own building, we were so proud, and the women of the congregation had a slumber party and weekend retreat. Milestone celebrations were frequent. Martin and Deborah's wedding, Alice Parker's 80th birthday party. The church has been the site of the ceremonies marking our lives. Social justice became a leading edge. We made important contributions to the larger community and grew in our support for underrepresented groups. What about our trip to Selma, marching across the Pettus Bridge commemorating history? What about marching on University Boulevard for gay pride or for the $15 minimum wage? What about when we worked together to produce an auction, a holiday market, even a potluck lunch. Remember work parties? So many of us sweated and got dirty together. It's work to be sure, but it's being together, sharing the load, enjoying the process and the outcome. All of this made possible by financial, compassionate, and on the ground commitments of members and friends. Each generation has benefited from that legacy and has attempted to pay it forward. Across 67 years, hundreds have found a joyous home here where the long term are as a stop on their journey. We've tried to honor the past while forging an inspired path for ourselves and for those who will follow. I believe younger families with their energy and enthusiasm are the hope of the future. They will continue the legacy of the free and responsible church. They will create the rich experiences that bring meaning to their lives and to ours. May this unbroken circle continue to grow as we partner with other groups and nurture our own. Together, we can push boundaries. We have the skills, the vision, and the calling to write the next chapter. May it be so.